Meanwhile, the federal government is now looking for ways to keep the country moving amid fears of the coronavirus. Jennifer Bellamy joins us now with a look at plans being floated by both political parties. Yeah, we could see action on the congressional level votes even in, in the next few days as Democrats and Republicans work to create plans to help Americans as we see more impacts from the spread of COVID-19 within the United States. Leaders from both sides say they are trying to address immediate financial needs in impacted communities. Senate Minority Leader Chuck Schumer and other Democrats have put forth a two-part relief package that they believe will address immediate needs like paid sick leave, enhanced unemployment insurance, food security, and other assistance. It would also include things like six months forbearance on federal student loans and mortgages, disaster grants to help local economies and small businesses, grants for child care centers and K-12 schools, and assistance to help transit systems stay open. Meanwhile, the Trump administration has proposed getting rid of the payroll tax through the end of the year or at least the election. That's the money taken out of your paycheck to fund Social Security and other government programs. The administration also says it's working on plans to possibly delay the April 15th tax deadline. Treasury Secretary Steven Mnuchin told Congress the action could give relief to individual taxpayers and small businesses. He said the administration believes a delay would put more than $200 billion back into the economy money that would otherwise go towards paying taxes at the usual deadline. Well, it's not clear how long of a delay we could possibly see with that tax, tax deadline, but any delay isn't set in stone just yet. We could see votes on different measures proposed in Congress over the next few days.